Hi everyone, this is Trent Pepicelli from Innovative Marketing Systems. Um, here today with some parts where the customer is having difficulty with adhesion. Uh, the parts themselves, let me show you the ones are here. They're nickel plated and also a powder coated one as well. And uh, they're using an ink with a hardener, um, a four to one ink with a hardener, and it's not adhering and it had adhered in the past and they're not sure what's going on. Now if you look at the surface of the part, you know, the, the first question is, is it an ink problem or is it a surface treatment problem? If you look at it, it's almost yellowing here. And I'm going to just hit it with some acetone that I have on a Kleenex and just wipe half of it down. Now immediately, well, it's hard to see, but I can see it. There's a difference there. And here is, then I'm going to take a dying pen and just run it from top to bottom and watch to see what happens and it looks like it's kind of dropping out evenly uh, when I'm looking at it on video but when I look at it with my eyes there is a really a difference between this side and this side and here actually is one that I did a little bit earlier where you can see it's been sitting and you can see the parting line between the area where it has been um, wiped down and the area where it hasn't been wiped down here and that's a huge difference. It means that there's an enormous amount of contamination there. And you've got some sort of slickness there that the dyeing pen is picking up and saying, okay, this is going to be much better for the ink to adhere to on that surface than this. Uh, not quite the same as polypropylene where you have to surface treat it in order to get the tension to, ch the, the, the tension to change. But what this is showing is that the contamination is oily or slick. And in fact, when I pick the part up and just rub my thumb on it in the uh, untreated area or the unwiped down area, and I rub my fingers together, I can absolutely feel that there's an issue there. On the other pieces, we've got a, a powder coated piece here where we treated it the same way. And again, it's hard to see on the video, but there is definitely a color difference between the area we wiped down with acetone and the area we haven't. And then up here, you can definitely see it. Here's the area that hasn't been wiped down, and here's the area that has. And you can see that the, the dyeing pen is beating up quite a bit there. So what we're gonna do is, take these, wipe them down, and then um, in a few minutes we'll hit them with some ink uh, that we think is appropriate for it. And the we'll come back, we'll show you what we did, and uh, do some te uh, tape testing uh, and some scratch testing and see how they go. Talk to you soon. Nice. So, okay, here we go. We're back on these um, to do to some test printing here. And we've got one piece that we've wiped down clearly on this side with acetone, and on this side it's not. You can see it obviously. On these, we're gonna wipe this with alcohol and up here with acetone the same way um, because the acetone seems to actually chew this up, the surface up a little bit and make it more matte than the customer probably wants it to be. Um, then we're gonna use this plate and just hand print uh, two different types of inks across the um, area that is uh, treated and the area that's untreated or cleaned and uncleaned and then we're going to stuck them, stick them in the dryer and see how they turn out. Rob's doing this now. Just a little hand print. A little ink on the plate. Dr. Blade. Boom. There it is on the pad. And there it is on the part. So we'll test it later and see how it goes. We'll do a few more passes at this and then later on we'll show you how the adhesion goes. Okay, so here we are back uh, with our testing. Rob and his tape, a packing tape, which is actually pretty heavy duty for testing in general. And we've got the white, which is STB. ST oh, sorry, GL. GL, and the yellow, which is STB. This half has been cleaned but prior to, that half has not. Um, and we're going to give it a, a quick pull and see what happens. Go ahead, Rob. And we definitely lost, that pulled some ink off. And if we look down now at the part, you can see the failures. That looks like a little bubble was there, but the failures along the top here this is the side that hasn't been cleaned and you can see I can't quite I can see it with my eye but I can't quite get it with the camera that there's definitely failure on this side and not on the other side so 
there we go then. It looks like the answer to the question is clean the parts. Let's take a look at the black one now. This one was a little harder because we couldn't clean it quite as well, but go ahead, Rob. Because of the um, black powder coat or paint uh, wanted to um, wanted to come off with acetone. So there we go. And looks like nothing. Maybe a tiny little bit. So, and that's on the unclean side once again, right? So we did actually fail a little bit here on the unclean side, but on the clean side, it looks like we're in good shape. I'll just do it. Go ahead and hit that too. This is a part that we cleaned with acetone at the top again. So. Almost nothing, even on that, almost nothing. So there we go. The answer to the question is clean your parts and use the right ink on it and everything works out fine. Talk to you later, everybody. Bye.